it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. How you doing guys? I want to tackle this tough question. Um, there has been several women reach out to me in the last, I would say, seven to ten days and they have a lot of concerns about what they call their sucky and really crappy upline. So this might ruffle some feathers. Um, but I want to add some light and I want to add some love to this and maybe just a little bit of tough love too. Um, I tackle some of these tough topics, you know, because people come to me and this is, this is a touchy feely topic. Um, there's a lot of heart and a lot of gut wrenching going on. Um, but because these ladies have come to me and we still have some more coaching and follow ups to do of some solutions for them, I know that they're not the only ones. Okay. So when someone comes to you with a problem, remember that they're not the only ones that might have that. So feel free to drop some comments and let me know. So, you know, whether you have a bickering upline, you're feeling that you have no support, there's a lack of communication, you don't know what's going on with training, uh, you're getting lack of direction, you just feel that your upline isn't there for you. Or maybe your upline even quit or your upline changed companies and they kind of left you high and dry. Because honestly, we know that there is a really steep learning curve uh, when it comes to building our businesses online. But there's some things that we can take control of, okay? Uh, we can't take control of everything in our life, but there are certain aspects of our business that we can. So when you want you just to close your eyes for a minute and think about the energy and the excitement that when you first signed on within this business, okay, it begins with that knowing that when you put your John Henry on that line, you're joining into business as an independent business owner. You are ultimately responsible for your own success. Your upline, um, you don't know, maybe they're on a steep learning curve too. You know, we're not maybe sure where they are within their business. They might be able to help you and they might not be able to help you. But ultimately, this is something really, really important that we need to um, to talk about because where before we can go forward within making kind of decisions of you know dealing with a sucky upline, um, I'm going to ask you a real tough question. This one was really hard for me to even write down, but I wrote it down. Is that where are you in your mindset? Okay, where is your head at? Where is your heart at? What, what is going on with you in your home life? Because sometimes when we're looking to quit something because someone else quit something or change something because they're sucky or they're crappy, and this might ruffle some feathers, but you also, first of all, need to do some inner dwelling. And this is tough for me to say, but do some heartfelt dwelling. Are you looking for an excuse to get out? And that's not a judgment. You know, you could want not want to be there anymore because of so many other reasons and maybe this was just the last straw that broke the camel's back and you're looking for the out either way it's okay I really you know it doesn't what your choices and businesses are doesn't affect me but I really want you to be able to know within your heart you're making those decisions for the right reasons or you're just looking for an out um, because it's not just for us in entrepreneurs that make business decisions every day. Uh, like I said, when you sign that uh, piece of paper, becoming an entrepreneur as an independent business owner, there's lots of other business relationships that happen. You know, fathers and sons join in business, mothers and daughters, sisters and brothers, best friends. Businesses can uh, survive um, or they can thrive or they can fail and not just upon uh, you as a home business owner. Uh, businesses start and stop all the time. Business partners come and go. People even within network marketing will come together for um, a team effort or um, an external event and collaboration and then part ways again. We are, we want to be branding ourselves. So ultimately, you have to make that internal decision of, you know, when you joined and where is your heart at now. So I want to jump into some tips um, because I think this is really important to dig into. So you need to, number one, make that decision um, depending that inner commitment. Draw that line in the sand, plant your flag, whatever it is that you want uh, to be a success within your business. Whether it's this business or another business and like, hey, I mean, I, I think it was Ray Higdon said he was in 11 different businesses before he finally found one that was the right fit. 
okay? So it's okay if you change your mind a few times, but don't do it just because you have a sucky upline. People can eventually take the training wheels off their pedal bikes um, long before that they think they can because they had to, okay? So if you are in a business that you love, don't let a sucky upline think that you, you have to give up your business because you don't have any guidance and direction. You are an independent business owner. You are a strong woman with inside. So I'm going to give you some tips. Number one, like I said, is make that internal decision that with or without them, you are going to make this work. So if you have an outside job, how many times have you gone to work? And this is truthful for me in the past. I've gone to work and I know that I honestly could have done a better job than my boss did that day. Can you guys nod your head? Would you guys agree to that? There's been days in your past or experiences that you've had in your life where you know you could have done a better job than the boss that you had. Okay, so think about that within your business. If you are having a bickering upline, if you're not getting any support, communication, training, direction, or they quit, is that really a reason that you should quit? When you know in your heart that if you just stood up and took some responsibility, you could figure it out. So when you make that commitment, I mean, I think that that really takes an inner, some inner gumption, but eventually every woman has to make that decision with anything in your life of whether you're going to make it work or you're not, not just in business. Okay. So, so that's the first tip is take that responsibility, make that inner decision that you are going to figure this out. And that uh, takes me into tip number two, which is figuring it out. If you are not getting the guidance, the training, the support, the communication from your upline or they quit or they're bickering and they're not spending any time with you, you have that ultimate responsibility then to say, okay, um, they're not there for me, so what else can I do? What else can you do? You can be like the majority of the regular other adults in there that have decided to figure it out. So just like myself in the past, when I wanted to decide when I'm going to be a network marketer, I want to be able to work full time from home. I want to be able to pay my bills and buy my groceries, um, you know, do my basics within my life. And I want to do it from home. I had to figure it out because like I've shared so many times in the past, we're not born knowing how to tie our running shoes. And I didn't join this business knowing how to be a network marketer. I didn't, I didn't join this business knowing how to run my business successfully using social media. I didn't, I didn't have those skills. So it's like, uh, okay, I guess I can figure it out. I figured out everything else in my life so far. I figured out how to be a mom. I figured out how to drive my car. I figured out how to, you know, change my tires. Um, I figured out how to do these different things. So I'm pretty sure I can figure this out too. And Google is your friend. YouTube is your friend, just in case no one's told you about those amazingly free resources. Um, but every time you have a conversation with your upline in the past or the present, I want you to think about that. This is, this is a training and this is a lesson. Sometimes the most minor conversations you're going to have to duplicate in your future. Next month when you have a new member, in two months later when you've got five or six or a team of ten, Ask them how they're managing their business, okay? Ask them about their daily method of operation and plug into some training. If you haven't done all your company training, if you are not um, reading educational books, if you are not plugging into webinars and taking on additional training so you can grow yourself, so you can grow your business, same thing, it comes down to that responsibility, that really that internal decision. It's okay, same thing, it goes back to the prior conversation. It's okay if you've discovered that entrepreneurship really isn't for you. I'm not encouraging you to quit. I'm not making no judgments. I'm just saying that some people, they just want to putter and they just want to have a hobby. And the world loves all kinds. So if that's you, you know, keep it up. If you're happy, keep it up. If you're not happy, you have that decision to make, right? The yin-yang, the balance, the scale, the good, the bad, the ugly list that I talk about all the time. So knowing that there's other resources out there and there's other training out there and that's why I'm getting asked these questions is because I keep on showing up online as a resource, as a consistent person, um, a person of worth, a person of value, a person that will seek to understand where you are so we can therefore make a plan to go forward, okay? And so that brings me into tip number three which is making your plan. You need to 
know what your life plan is, know what your business plan and ideas is, and then mix and match that with your time. How many hours or minutes per day are you contributing to your business? What is your daily method of operation and is it effectual? Maybe you're only spending an hour a day. Maybe it's only 30 minutes a day. You know, maybe it's five or six hours a week. You need to be able to make that decision within yourself saying, okay, I am going to commit a minimum of 30 minutes per day in income producing activities. Okay. And if you're not certain what your income producing activities are, then I would please send me a personal message and we can help make you a little bit of a plan and I can help put you on the sunny side of life and on a stronger path. Um, because that's really important that you actually know what you should be doing within your business to get more leads, to get more sales, to get more signups, to increase your communication. All of those good things need to be happening. So you need to, like I said, make that decision, plug yourself into some training and figure out a plan and then stick to it. Make your commitment for time. Um, it's like anything else in life. If you know you have a chiropractor's appointment, a doctor's appointment, a dentist appointment, we will make it happen. Somehow people make it happen for 30 minutes several times a week to watch their favorite television show or take their kids to soccer. Is not your, your business and your dreams and your hopes worthy of you also carving out some specific time per day? I think so. I think you're worth it. I think you're worthy of education. I, I think you're worthy of time being spent on you. That's why I show up every day because I think you're worthy. Okay. So, but ultimately it comes within that internal decision that you need to make that decision for yourself to be successful or not, no matter what. Okay. And I leave the or not there because, because I'm not, I'm not pushy and rammy and jammy that way. I, I give a damn and I care about you because there's women out there that are hurting because they're feeling that they don't have any support. There's women out there hurting and struggling because they haven't had any guidance, that their sponsor started them without a game plan, without some specific directions. Um, and, and to be honest, my very first MLM, I, I loved it. And then my upline kind of faded away and then the company kind of changed some ingredients. And, you know, I didn't think that that business was for me. So I remembered how much, and by that time, I still wanted something. So I fell in love with the teaching side, the encouraging, the uplifting, the enlightening, the, the training, and the empowering of women online within their successful businesses, because that's something I could do. That's something I felt that I could be successful at. Then only to discover that there are businesses out there, there's home-based businesses out there, like I recently discovered in the last... Um, 10 weeks that actually have a plug and play training program that actually have a plan specifically for Facebook that is extremely duplicatable and that's why our team is absolutely blowing it up out there is because there's there's no one left high and dry you're told specifically what you have to do and it'll ultimately again it's back back up to you you don't have to do it you can cross your arms going like no I really don't want to do that or I'm uncomfortable to do that well then it's okay. It's kind of like exercising or a food plan or financial or relationships, anything out there, you need to make that decision. Okay. Now, if you are struggling within your business and you are looking for some uplifting, if you're looking for some coaching or some guidance, or you're ready to throw your arms in the air because you haven't been successful in network marketing before because of you know, no support, lack of communication, lack of training direction, and your upline quit, then we really should talk. Because there's some amazing things going on within my world and a whole bunch of other businesses. And what, if I can't help you, I know I can send you to someone that can. I've got almost 2,000 friends and 1,500 uh, fans on, on the other side of my business page. And I'm connected with other women within business. So if I can't help you, I can be the bridge to your sunny side. And, and I'm okay with being a bridge. If I can't be your end destination, I can be the bridge. Okay. And I know that I can help you. You guys have a fantastic evening and I will talk to you tomorrow. Drop me some comments, you know, mash those emoticons. Tell me what you found to be most valuable. And as always, if you know that someone needed to hear this message today, please, please share it forward because sharing is caring. And I will talk to you tomorrow. You guys have a fantastic night.